Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the defensive measure side quest here in Starfield. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So before you can even start this quest, you need to make sure you've done the quest job gone wrong, which is the very first one that you'll encounter when you enter Aquila City. Uh, it's the one where the sheriff's hanging outside of the building and the robbers have hostages and you have to talk the robbers out of hurting anyone. Pretty simple. I'm sure everyone watching this has already done it. But once that is complete, we'll be able to move on with the quest for this video. So to start defensive measures, you want to work your way over to the Cheyenne system. We're going to go right over here to Aquila and fast travel to Aquila City. Now, once you make it into the city, you're going to see Je uh, Shepherd's General Store. We want to go just to the left of that between the store and the yellow kiosk. And if you work your way up these stairs, you're going to see a guy sitting outside of the barracks. His name is Davis Wilson. We're going to speak with Davis and he's going to talk about how he's irritated, doesn't really want to talk with you uh, because some woman has offered an idea to help make the security of the city better and he's not for it. He's going to be grumpy. We're just going to speak with him a little bit, ask him about what she was uh, trying to do. He's going to give his little spiel. And once you're finished speaking with him, the quest will then begin. So again, we'll talk to him a little bit more. We'll finish up this dialogue here so you guys can see the quest will start. Now, what I recommend doing is going into your missions and selecting defensive measures so that you can see where the girl is, because she's not necessarily going to be standing right here. If it's your first time encountering this area, they're going to be arguing out in front of the barracks. I've already walked past it, so the argument's no longer going on. But you can see now that I've selected it, she's standing right over here and I can go speak with her. And she's going to be the one that's actually the main part of this mission. So we'll go speak with her and tell her essentially we want her to believe that we're on her side. We want to tell her that we want to help her out and do whatever she needs done. Um, and what she needs done is putting sensors uh, here in Aquila City, specifically over in the stretch. So we'll go ahead and finish the dialogue with her, speak to her, tell her that we'll help her out. And, uh, and once we do, you'll get four little blue pings that pop up on your map as long as you have the mission selected, which again makes this a thousand times easier to see exactly where you need to put these things. We'll go ahead and head up the stairs, work our way over to the stretch part of Aquila City. You'll see all four of these blue dots are all pretty much right next to each other, and you already have the sensors in your inventory once you speak with her. We'll put the first one down here in front of this post, continue along the stretch. Our second one will be right here beside this little house. We'll keep going all the way down. We're going to have our third one beside this house here. And then our fourth and final sensor is going to be right over here beside the staircase. Now, once you've finished placing all four of the sensors, the quest will then update. And all we need to do is head back over to Keone's location. She'll probably be wandering around. So again, make sure you have the mission selected so you can see exactly where she's at. Uh, but once you go back and speak with her, she's going to ask you to do one more thing. She needs you to go up into a guard tower and distract one of the guards. So we'll head over that way again, follow the blue dot. You'll see, we'll show you here in the video where to go, uh, just in case you're a little lost. But once you get over here, you're gonna have a couple different options. So the first option is obviously you can try to persuade this guy to leave. You do have a chance of failing, so I don't recommend trying to persuade him. You can also pay him a thousand credits. That works a or a hundred percent of the time. Uh, so if you have a thousand credits to spare, you can just give him those. If you've completed the Free Star Ranger side missions, you can just pull that card and say, "Hey, I'm part of the Free Star Rangers. I need you to leave at this time," and he'll walk away. So if you've done that, you can save yourself a thousand credits. But once you get him to walk away, the quest will update. We can go back and uh, and speak with Keone. And once we do, she'll be thrilled that we did so and uh, and the quest will update and you will have completed defensive measures. Now, depending on what level you are, I was able to get 12,500 credits as well as some XP, but you will get your rewards once you finish. But that's how to complete defensive measures. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.